Hi everybody, it's Tom and I'm back and better and larger than ever. I'm going to be starting something new today. I mean, this is still kind of ripping the piss, but not as ripping the piss, you know what I mean? There's like certain things that I'm going to be ripping the piss at, but someone asked me to do this, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to start a video club. So basically, I'm going to be talking about today my top five videos or DVDs that I like to watch, and I'll probably do one that I hate, loathe entirely. But yeah, we can get this up and running. I'll show you the five that I like today and the one that I don't like. And if any of you out there have any great movies, you can come back and tell me if you've seen these movies, if you like these movies, and what you thought of them, basically. You can ascribe to me videos you think I might like to watch, and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what I thought of them. You know what I mean? And we'll go from there and on. Okay, so we're gonna start movie number one. The first one I picked today is The Highlander. Great movie, definitely would recommend watching. I mean, probably thousands of people have already watched it, but I really love this movie. I mean, I think it was well made. It's got a really good storyline to it, and it's just action from the word go. It's got a great uh, soundtrack to it, you know what I mean? Great characters in it, and it's just got a really, really, really good storyline. So I would definitely recommend this movie if you haven't seen it. it. I like it because it goes back into time and it comes back into the future, do you know what I mean? And I mean, to give you a rough story, I mean, there's a lot of sword fighting in it, which I like. I mean, I'll give you a little line from it. There, will, there can only be one. So basically, they have to basically fight to the death to get to, to, get to number one. You know what I mean? I don't want to give too much away just in case you haven't seen it, but a lot of people have seen it, so I'm just saying this is one of my top five for today. Moving on to the next one. Another great movie, Dune. And by the way, these are great stories. There's good books out on this, this movie, so I would definitely recommend reading the books because I've been told from a lot of people that the books are... Well, there's a lot more books and there's a lot more story writing. I mean, they basically summed it up in this movie. You know what I mean? But I'm hoping that they're gonna make a, a stage two or remake this movie and make it even more better than what it was because the graphics they got today, they could make this movie. I personally think this movie, Star Wars stole a lot from this movie and from these books. So I'm just saying, if you ever get a chance to watch Dune, there's a lot of great characters in this movie as well that I like, I mean, I'm not going to give them all away, but I will say Sting's in it, so and I like Sting, so yes, uh, that is a must watch. I mean, please come back and tell me what you thought of this, or what you think of the book, you know what I mean? But I'm saying this is a good movie. Oh, the next, next one, classic. I'm picking the new one, Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, I'm a big Disney fan, but I am a really big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean, as you can see by my tattoos, you know what I mean? Which I've not finished, by the way. I will be getting this completely decked out. As you can tell, Barbosa is my number one pirate. Yeah, boy. I mean, I like Johnny Depp too, but don't get me wrong, but they play off each other great, so, and it just makes a great movie. And I really pray that they do make another one, because as we all know, all right, for the people that haven't seen this movie, they killed off a Bosa and it pissed me right off. So I'm really upset about that. But they have brought him back from the dead once before. So if they do come out with a new movie, they better be bringing him back. Well, I'm gonna be very, very disappointed. I mean, I know people thought that this one and the fourth one weren't that great because of all the mermaids and Blackbeard. I mean, yeah, I think they could have got a better Blackbeard. They could have, they could have made Blackbeard a bit more of a badass, but I don't know. I still think Johnny Depp and Barbosa make the movies, and if you're a pirate fan and you're a Pirates of the Caribbean fan, you will watch all. For, you will watch all of the movies and try to enjoy them. I think every single movie has something unique about it. I mean, all right, it's hard to follow on from the, the very beginning. I mean, we all love the first one. I mean, I'm just me personally. I liked them all. I'm not fussy. There was something in each movie that I could take and enjoy. You know what I'm saying? But. If you get a chance, do watch it, and please come back and let me know what you think, and let me know if you want to see a new movie made, because I definitely do, I'll put my hand up on that one. So, yeah. 
Moving on to the next one, we've got another sci-fi here. Classic, well, I think it's a classic. It's called Enemy Mine. Dennis Cray is one of my favorite actors and he played a really great part in this movie. I mean, if, if you are a sci-fi freak, I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm a total sci-fi freak, but I do like sci-fi movies. This is definitely up there. I would rate it in the top 20 sci-fi movies of all time because it's got everything in it. I mean, basically, I'll give you a little bit of an idea on it. It's humans fighting aliens for territories in space. They both, they're in it. It's like watching Spitfires fight German planes to take each other out of space, you know what I mean? Well, they crash onto an island, onto a planet that where no one lives, and basically, they become best friends. I mean, I don't really want to say too much more because I really want you to like watch it. So remember the name, Enemy Mind. This is a great movie. And get back to me and let me know what you thought of this movie. That's if you haven't already seen it. Right, I saved one of my, my, my favourite movies of all time last. Is The Lord of the Rings. And by the way, this is special edition. So I had to go out and buy the special edition. Because I love all the uncut scenes and all the extra scenes. I mean, the box is just really pretty. I mean, it's got a beautiful map there. You know what I mean? I mean, I'd rather pay the extra for quality. Once again, another great book. So if you don't want to watch the movie, read the book. But I'm just saying. And I hear that they're making a TV series on this, which I am definitely watching. You know what I'm saying? So I really, really can't wait for that. I love all three of these movies. I mean, there's, part, there's parts in all three of the movies that excite me, upset me. Once again, they, all, they went and killed off my favourite character of all time, Sean Bean. He always dies and they think he's in this guy. This guy's got to start being in movies where they don't kill him off. What I love about Lord of the Rings is, is I don't know, it feels like it's a world within a world. It's a world that I wouldn't mind escaping to. I, would like to, I wouldn't mind living it. If I couldn't live here where we are now, this is definitely the world I wouldn't mind living in. Because I love all that sword fighting, armor, castles, Middle Earth, and dragons, and fucking goblins, and all that shit. I just love it. All the battles. You just, you want to be part of it. You know what I mean? That's the great thing about this, this, these movies and the book. It, you just want to become part of it, and you wish you were in it. I think that's enough on videos that I've liked. And now I'm going to come to... Uh, the DVD of the month that I just could not stand watching, and I will say my wife made me watch it. I mean, all right, it's got good characters in it, you know what I mean? I mean, that, I thought that was gonna make it better because of the characters in it. I mean, I love Smithy in it, Johnny Depp, obviously. The guy who played Captain Kirk was in it, the new Captain Kirk, the young Captain Kirk was in it, and a load of other people, but it was Into the Woods by Disney. And I'm telling you now, I could not stand this fucking movie. This movie, I actually literally fell asleep twice. She had to elbow me twice just to wake me up. That's how boring this movie is. I mean, I will put it in Disney's fuck up list because I honestly think this was the, the worst movie Disney has ever brought out. But it's shocking because the guy who did the music for this did uh, Screen It Top and I love that movie, which that could be another movie that I'll talk about another day, but at the moment, this is for this month the worst movie that I've seen so far. Do you know what I mean? So, but there's people out there that probably love this movie, probably think it's great. But me personally, it's not for me. It's not my cup of tea. I mean, I like certain musicals. I will sit there and watch musicals. But this one <sighs> bored the hell out of me and just enraged me. You know what I mean? I probably just stuffed myself silly when I was awake with popcorn. You know what I mean? Probably made myself sick twice. But I hope that you enjoyed the first section section we did of this. I'm going to be trying to do this every month now. So please get back to me and let me know what you think and what are your favourite videos. Tell me what you think of these videos that I've picked. And if you think there's any good movies out there that you think I'd like to watch, let me know and I'll watch them and then I'll talk about them on my next show. But until then, people, please be nice to each other. Peace. Hit subscribe, share with friends, and hit the bell icon to be alerted every time we post. You're watching Rip in the Piss.